When it comes to Halloween, it's all about the costume. So we're here today at the Spirit Store asking people what their favorite costume is, what they want to be, do they have a theme, or maybe a favorite mask. Let's go find out. There's a lot to take along there with is. the kids. There is. So you have this bag, and yes. you're going to get all of this into this bag, yes. and that's all we're going to need, correct? Pretty much. So many people have purchased their tickets that the lottery has gone up to $1.5 billion dollars. That's a lot of money. Let's go find out what people would spend it on. You're not getting paid, but you're coming out here and you're giving your time. Yes, um, and you're educating mm -hmm. others. Yes, ma'am. So how does that make you feel? Well, I love it. I love telling people about it because, you know, I'm kind of a, a bit of a nerd. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jen Strusky. Coming up today at 1 on SA Live, we'll introduce you to Chewy, a service dog in training. How he's helping one local family and their son with a disability. It's all coming up today at one. We're kind of kind of excited when kids get excited about journalism. Oh yeah, that program changed my life. I wanted to be a veterinarian. I took this class and look at me now. And yeah. now you're here with us. And, and but you'd have a little fun too, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. A lot of times teenagers, teenagers nowadays, we kind of get like the selfish label kind of thing. And I feel like it's really important to try to be selfless because if you're selfless, it just, I mean, it makes you a better person and it like makes you happier. Amber Teague is not your typical teenager. They're so pretty, I love these guys. She spends her spare time getting to know wild animals. Two fingers, okay? Wow. Is he soft? The 14-year-old volunteers her time at the San Antonio Zoo while balancing extracurricular activities and homework. I love animals and I love working with people, so I felt like this was a really good way to get both of those in it. Well, the most important gift I think that people can give is time. And learning that early is important. Um, it's the only thing you can't get back. It's a lesson volunteer educator Lori Brown says Amber is learning at an early age. You're not getting paid, but you're coming out here and you're giving your time. Yes, ma'am. Um, and you're educating mm -hmm. others. Yes, ma'am. So how does that make you feel? Well, I love it. I love telling people about it because, you know, I'm kind of a, a bit of a nerd. <laughs> and so I get to, like, go all nerdy on people, and that's okay. It's important to get teams out in the uh, um, community um, volunteering so they can learn to be part of the greater good um, and also um, work towards a cause that they're passionate about. Maybe you can find something um, that inspires you. Someday Amber hopes to be a veterinarian. Seems like she's picked the right place to volunteer. Hello! Hello! She even has a favorite animal, Mel. He didn't like that we were standing too close to her. we got sprayed on. Yes, it's just part of the fun Amber experiences here at the zoo, and she's enjoying every little bit of it. Like, this doesn't feel like work at all, at all, ever. It's so fun. It's like, great. I feel like this is a privilege. Like, I'm blessed. For SA Live, I'm Jennifer Strusky. What's your theme this year? My theme, I'm going to go with the sheriff. My kids are really going with the kind of Scary one who wants to be the clown. I don't know why. Do you know what you're going to be for Halloween? Uh, Batgirl. Why do you want to be Batgirl? I keep going to the nurse at my school and I see stickers with bats and I and I like and bats like are like spookyish so I like Batgirl. It's going to be a Santa Claus suit, but it's going to be Krumpus. I don't know if you ever heard of him. It's like the anti uh, Santa Claus. Where what are you going to be for Halloween? So they're Batman. Batman. Can you tell me what you're going to be for Halloween? Uh, a werewolf. I'm going to be a mirror ninja. My dog's going to be a tackle for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pug. Yeah, our dog is a pug. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! If you're heading out for a day with the kids, there's always so much to pack. Joining us today is Jada Pickett, professional nanny and blogger of Strollers and Confetti. She's going to help us out because there's a lot to take along there with is. the kids. There is. So you have this bag and yes. you're going to get all of this into this bag. Yes. And that's all we're going to need. Correct? Pretty much. This is, this is all you need um, for a full day out at the zoo with your kids. Or even if it's just a trip to the, um, you know, to HEB or something. Yes, so yes, yes. I know. The, yeah. <laughs> the last thing you want is to forget some essentials.
for the day. That can ruin an entire trip. I've been there, I've turned all the way around, and yes, I have gotten it, or I've stopped at the store to pick yes. it up too. Um, yep. So we're gonna start pretty much from here on in just to kind of really go over what we can put inside of the diaper bag. First, I want to talk about the importance of having a really good diaper bag mm -hmm. because it is very important. It's just as important as having what you need in the diaper bag. Yes. So this diaper bag is actually from Skip Pop. A company called Skip Pop is very familiar in the parenting and nanny yes. <laughs> world. Mm -hmm. um, now, the thing that I love the most about this uh, bag, aside from its many compartments that you guys can see, that's one indicator of having a really good diaper bag is all the pockets and compartments because you're going to want to have some separation for the things that you want to put in there. Yes. You guys will see that, see why in just a little bit. Okay. Um, but I love this canvas in here because there's no way that you are going to go without ever messing or staining your diaper bag. So to have this, you can just take a wet wipe, literally just wipe it off and you're good to go. Right. Um, so a second to that, like I mentioned, having the compartments. Um, so the first thing that you wanna go ahead and put in this diaper bag is going to be a changing pad. This actually is included with the Skip Pop diaper bag, so you right. really do win when you're able to get a diaper bag that comes yes. with a changing pad. So we're gonna actually put that kind of nearby, okay. Okay. actually in this back open compartment, Great. which is gonna be perfect. That way if you ever have something, a, a big, huge emergency, you can go Just ahead and run right over. Really quick. Yes. The second thing, obviously, you're gonna need diapers. Now, if your kids are a little bit older, you pretty much only have to worry about underwear, especially if you're potty training. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of those. So the diapers, we're gonna wanna put those somewhere snug, pretty not too much outside of the diaper bag, but more so inside. So okay. if you look inside of the diaper bag, you'll see two pockets that the Skip Pop has, mm -hmm. which is what I love. So we're gonna actually put the diapers in one of the compartments, it doesn't matter, you can choose. Sure. That way they're stuck, they're close together, and they're not really splattered everywhere, because sometimes we just throw the diapers in there, and we lose count of how many we have, and it's frustrating. Yes, <laughs> it is. So what do you think the next thing is going to be that we need? You think we need um, wipes? Pipe? Yes, we're going to need wipes. So your wipes, you're actually going to want to keep these nearby as well. So I keep these in the front compartment where this zipper is. I think Ooh, it's perfect. I feel like perfect. they made it just for the wipes. <laughs> yes. You can get this cute little uh, Pampers clutch from anywhere like Target or mm -hmm. H-E-B. The second- and It doesn't go all the way down. I no. know this, so it's perfect. That's what I love, exactly. Right. Cause you know you need the wet wipes for more than just the diapers. You're gonna yes. need it to wipe off, you know, food stains and everything. Yep. The second thing of wipes that I like to take around are these wipes that are specifically made for wiping off the pacifiers because the oh. pacifiers always are falling on the ground. Yes. And you know, you feel bad and sometimes you just wipe uh. it off. Here you go, you don't have to feel too, gu too guilty anymore. <laughs> you can just use these. Right. I usually stick those in the same exact spot. Mm -hmm. Like I said, super easy to get by. Now, in addition to the diapers and the wipes and the changing pad, we're gonna wanna have a change of clothes. This is like emergency change of clothes. You always wanna have it, but chances are you may not always need it. So you wanna stick these pretty much at the bottom of your diaper bag. Bottom of the bag. Mm -hmm. Now, a tip that I've learned yes. is to roll the clothes versus just throwing them into the bottom. You're gonna save space, and you'll keep in uh, mind, you'll remember exactly what it is that you have, shirt, pants, socks, whatever. Great. Also, the next thing, of course, is just going to be your essential uh, diaper rash creams, sunscreens, trash can, because you know we are going to have poopy diapers <laughs> yes. or just dirty diapers yes. in general. Don't want that getting on anything else. No. <laughs> but these actually come in handy, too, aside from the uh, diapers as well. You can put trash in here, too, so to kind of keep up with the mess. Or dirty clothes or Yes, exactly. Wet anything clothes. Anything that gets dirty. Yep. These, are, these come in, in handy a lot. I usually stick these in the front compartment just because these are great to have nearby and they're small enough to kind of not mess around anywhere. Perfect. The next section of the diaper bag storing is gonna be your food items. You always wanna have snacks. And if you're gonna be out for a long time, pretty much something that's gonna satisfy the kid's stomach because that's usually sometimes why they're crying. <laughs> so what I have are these small apple chips. They're all natural. It's made from exactly one apple, so keep that. Okay. And then we also have um, just a little, uh, What this is a school sheet packet. So if you make, home make your baby food, yep. you can keep doing that and store this away in here. Just keep a little bag nearby so you can store it. Now, I put this right next to the diapers. Okay. Just so that they're all stuck together. There's in that same compartment. Put it all here, even next to this one, too. And we're running a little low on time. Okay, okay. So we might not be able to fill the whole bag. Okay, okay. But we get the idea. You have this bag. You're able, with, with all these compartments, yes. to store what you need. Exactly. Um, one final thing that we can include? One final thing that I can say that we can include, because I think everything else is self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. 
you, I use my diaper bags also as my purse. So I don't have um, an additional bag for myself. So yes. I get the bare minimal things that I need, which is gonna be, of course, my car keys, yep. some cash, my license, uh, driver's license, gum, and a moisturizer slash lip balm, mm -hmm. and of course, pepper spray, just because you oh, never know. You never know. You never know. So keep this somewhere safe, and I love that Skip Pop has a separate outside zipper pocket compartment that I can store all of my stuff in. I don't even have to confuse it with the kids' things because I've been there before. You're storing in there, and you zip this up, you're good to go. Okay. Yay. Great. So we're ready for the day. You've yes. Got to, you got all this stuff put into here. And yes. you don't need anything else? No, you don't. This is actually all you're going to need. And then you're good to go. You can go travel for the day, worry free, and Yay. have a good time with Wonderful. your friends, play date, whatever. Jada, thank you so much. Of course. This is so helpful for so many moms and dads. So and nannies, you. no. <laughs> and nannies, any caregivers. So thank you yes. so much. And for more information, strollersandconfetti.com. And if you do have a nanny and you want to get her to the nanny box, mynannybox.com. Wonderful. Thank Yay. you, Jada. Of course. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> he was found wandering in a park here on the south side of town, and he was emaciated and flea bitten. And so he's been in our home since May of this year, and he's great. <laughs> Say hello to Chewbacca, once living on the streets, now a service dog in training for four-year-old Rogan, who was diagnosed with autism at age two. Chewie is at his eye level um, and is a non-threatening entity that he can interact with and socialize with, and so there can be that friendship bond that Rogan needs. That companionship is a different kind of therapy for Brooke Cortez's son, one that could have cost her thousands of dollars. But thanks to the organizations, Hill the Heroes, and Paws of Texas Rescue, her son was paired with Chewy. I think it's important because one of the things in my job that I notice is that people, especially parents that have a newly diagnosed child, don't know enough about what resources are available. Rogan and Chewy actually have quite a bit in common. <laughs> so they've, they're doing really well together and Chewy actually has attempted to comfort Rogan without being prompted or commanded to. Now that Chewy is part of the Cortez family, Lyndon Vallone, military veteran, dog trainer. Get close, good boy and founder of Hill the Heroes, is helping to train him to be a certified service dog. Sit. After meeting four-year-old Rogan, I'm really looking forward to working with him and his dog, Chewy, because he is just the smartest, brightest kid, and I can see where people aren't gonna give him a chance in normal schools and things like that, and that's one of the things the dog can help do with him. And already it seems Rogan and Chewy are a perfect match. Rogan was stung by a wasp in the backyard, and Chewy literally, first of all, attempted to get the bathtub with him when I was trying to get him to calm down and neutralize the sting. And then Chewy stayed with him until he fell asleep. But Chewy is a very hairy dog, um, which is actually a good thing because Rogan will go up and knead the fur on his back. Uh, he will. Um, lay with Rogan if Rogan is upset. So service dog or not, Chewy is proving to be a great friend for a child who could use one. There's something special about a young child that needs a dog to gain independence that makes it a little bit more special. He's just an amazing dog. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm Michelle Sotelo. And I'm Sylvie Luciabra. And, and you're watching Dragon News. Sometimes it takes just one school program to change a student's life. I feel really fortunate to do something like this. Southwest High School senior Melissa Sotelo aspires to be the next Larry King. In 10 years, I want to be right behind a desk like this. <laughs> <laughs> she credits the Dragon News program. Students write, edit, interview, and shoot their stories. We all shoot our ideas of which stories we want to shoot, what we want to get done. Not every one of them is going to college. And this gets them an opportunity to see that they're, um, if they're real technical, like say they're really good at the graphics part of, of a newscast, um, they can get certified to do that. And if they can, the turnaround time for them is really quick. Okay, she's not afraid to speak up, but she used to be. Growing up, I was like the shyest kid. I would not talk in front of anybody. So 
I feel like this experience has changed me a lot because now I could literally just sit in front of a camera and just talk my little life away. Proving just how much this kind of program can make a difference. I can never like repay this district for helping me like pursue this goal even more. But I know once we graduate, I'll miss this the most. <laughs>